Many things have changed on campus, like teaching in person and activities on campus. And here are their stories. So I don't currently do any of the activities, but I do get emails about things going on on campus. I usually just come to school, uh, do my classes, study, and then I go back home. Okay, so it's been going really well. And anybody that wants to wear their mask, of course, keeps it on. And then um, people that maybe don't feel as safe, uh, usually have their mask on and you'll see them have it throughout the halls or in class. Working out since the facility has been open post-COVID has been great. I work out one hour a day for seven days a week, and I'm happy the gym is now back open so we can meet new people. I'm so happy that the activities are now back in person on campus. Um, it's great that we can be in person now doing it online. I believe that like we didn't get that one-on-one um, -on -one with each other, and before COVID, we weren't able to really socialize as much and we had to do it virtually so I'm happy to be back to see all this things. About being online versus in person broadly, um, I feel the same way about meeting students as I do about teaching them. I would much rather prefer to do it in person um, for the simple aspect of you actually get to kind of see where students are at. You can read the room a little bit better. Um, I am also very big on, I want there to be some kind of connection between me and my students. And when you're just looking at name bubbles, black screens, that doesn't necessarily happen. Um, and so I think ultimately being in person, something that I value is something that I'm glad we're doing um, in safe, really productive ways. So in terms of what I prefer meeting students, I 100% prefer meeting students in person versus online. Um, I think that online is really accessible. However, I feel like part of our job is really forming a connection and I feel like that's missed online. As we transition back into normal life, we are very excited to see what the future holds.